Hey everybody, it's Carl from Ram Tactical here to show you an installation on a Shadow Systems. This is a XR920. Pretty nice gun. It's got the Glock 17 length um, magazine and grip. And we're not going to really go through the the rear takedown and put it all together, but we do want to show you, I mean to test to see you pull a trigger forward to see if this cruise forms on the shelf so that it's drop safe you can peek through that little window that's on the shadows uh, Glocks don't all have that um, there is a little window but not all the way back like that but it's nice to be able to see that that's on the shelf uh, you can test it just by pushing down on it while you have the trigger forward so with this it's different because of that RMR cap um, we'll go ahead and remove the striker just normal deal but there is no extractor rod and spring peeking through the hole there and that's because it's under this cap so we're going to go ahead and just remove the cap that's a t10 torx fitting so uh, just in case you want to know uh, i would say when you put this back together for sure use blue loctite especially for rmr it's not just the cap but if you have an rmr use blue loctite and torque it to the right inch pound spec uh, should be in your instructions on the rmr that you buy you definitely don't want to over torque it but without the blue loctite it's uh, going to go all over the place uh, that cap is plastic by the way so underneath here we're going to look and see through this tiny little peephole uh, with the 1 16th punch I'm going to put my hand over the top of the slide and just poke that pin out of there and if you don't cover your slide like that with your hand that little pin could get lost and that will end your day. So. Yeah, just be careful there. Uh, once the pin's out, the, the punch is fine. You just pull it right out of there. That, that spring will come out once you remove the extractor. So now that the load's off the extractor, we can press in the plunger, which I'm doing with my thumb, and then the extractor will fall out, then your plunger spring and plunger will fall out. In this case, I already put a reduced power in here, but it's just showing you the disassembly so what we're going to go ahead and just put it all back together and kind of fumble through this getting it back together <laughs> um, so here's that the guy or not, not the guy rod but the extractor rod. I didn't take it out of there I left it in there because uh, it's nice and clean but if you wanted to clean that you would remove it forward just push it out where the extractor is and clean that channel uh, so I'm going to take a long 330 seconds punch. I'd like to have a smaller diameter, but I didn't. Not long enough. And by going in the same channel from the back, you can press on that and, and depress the spring there, if you can see that. So you, you need to be able to depress the spring enough to get that little pin back in there. So, you know, when you got banana fingers, it's not always so easy see but anyway that pin is supposed to be at the rear part of that slot there so if you can get it to just rest there and move my hand that should be vertical but anyway my hands are in the way and you can't really see it but I'm just putting a little bit of pressure on the end of that pin as I push in on the extractor plunger spring um, that pin will seat down behind that plastic plunger at the end of the spring and then I can go ahead and let off of the the punch there and it should keep the pin captivated and then there you go you just press the pin down far enough so it's below flush so yeah I mean that's kind of a little bit of a hassle especially if you have an RMR um, again note use blue Loctite on these um, as a gunsmith, I mean, people would always bring me their guns and their optics would be off and loose. And so two things, you, you really need to know what you're torquing it to, and the specs should be right in the instructions for the RMR. 
and then blue Loctite always. So if you torque it to the right spec with blue Loctite, you, you shouldn't have any problem with those backing out. Uh, just, just saying. So I'm just going to snug these screws down. Uh, that that shouldn't be too tight either. It's just plastic. So I'd say snug, maybe eighth turn, quarter turn most. I, I put blue Loctite on it normally anyway, even if it's just the cap. So now the rest is just like a Glock. We're going to use the back of this slide to hold down the striker and get that spring off of there. I don't I don't like using this slide, but in this case I don't have my ar armor's block. And if you don't, this is how you can quickly change out those springs and, and the cups. Once you get the cups in there, um, the only other thing is you don't want that last coil of the spring to be, to be lined up with the split in the cups because that kind of makes the cups go a little crooked and it doesn't move smoothly in the striker channel. So the end of that coil, that last coil, should be in the middle of the splits on each side. Should, so 90 degrees from the split, I'd say. And then you're good. Um, Shadow Systems puts a little spring, it's a rebound spring on their striker. Uh, so Glocks, like, they let that float, but this is kind of like an M&P, I guess. Anyway, we'll go ahead and just get everything else back in there and we'll go ahead and test the trigger. Get the slide back on there and just do a quick feel. Yep, a little bit of pre travel and it's breaking. Oh man, these triggers. So, you guys know? People have told me that they're afraid of these triggers because they think that that skinny safety is going to dig in their finger. But it's the opposite of that. That skinny safety, you don't even know it's there. It's, it, it moves in so easy like butter. I mean, you can't even tell it's there. It's, it's so much nicer than wide safeties because, I mean, it just floats in there. You, really, literally, you don't know it's there. All right, guys, that's uh, the whole deal. Um, if you want it heavier, we just recommend don't change out your striker spring. But use all the parts we give you for sure. That's it. Shadow Systems. Carl signing out.